Hello again everyone, I'm Dahlia. I'm an artist and an art educator. Today at the National Gallery Singapore, let's take a look at a work by Singapore artist Kim Lim. The artist titled her work Irrawaddy. I find her work very fascinating. There is a beautiful language about it, rather quiet. The way she uses her marks and the repetitions in her work show some kind of rhythm. And when there is rhythm, it makes me think about movement. Let's go around the house and gather some ideas. What kind of rhythm can you sense with the casual arrangement of these forks? How about these spoons when arranged in this manner? I really like how the repetition of these cool coloured pencils can create a sense of rhythm too. Now I have an idea what we can do today, but first, let's take a look at the materials that you may need. These are the two materials that you need, a string and chopsticks. For the string, do not use the standard thread for sewing your clothes because that will be too thin. Use any thicker string like this black linen thread that I'm using because it will be stronger. The second material is chopsticks. There are many kinds of chopsticks. The ones I need for this project are these ones with thin grooves on the bamboo so that I can tie and secure the string around them. You can wash and collect the chopsticks that you use to eat and reuse them to make art. I'm using about 60 sticks here. How much string do we need? Spread out all the chopsticks and cut slightly more than three times the spread. One, two, and three. When we finish assembling, you may need acrylic paint and brushes if you want to paint it. Put both ends of the string together and grab the loop at the other end. Put one chopstick through the loop and secure the string into the groove at the end of the stick. Then tie a knot tightly around the groove. With one hand stabilizing the chopstick, hold on to one string. Place another chopstick next to the first one and tie another knot. Make sure that the string is tightly in the groove. Repeat this process carefully. Make sure that the string and knots are tight around the groove of each stick. Keep to this system of working so that your sticks and strings don't get tangled up. Okay, once you get to the last stick, tie a double knot. You may want to keep the extra string for later use. Then go to the first stick and attach an additional string to it. Make a dead knot on this end as well. Keep the colour of the natural bamboo if you like, otherwise you can paint it. Right after painting, you may want to alternate your sticks like this and move it around a little when drying so that they don't get stuck together. Look, it's done! What do you think of the repetition and rhythm in this artwork? Thank you. 
I hope you had great fun creating that artwork. When you can, do come down to the National Gallery Singapore and see if you can spot more artworks that has got rhythm and repetition. Then come back home and make more art. See you at the National Gallery.